So we've just finished with the Mishing village uh, where you saw uh, the Mishing who live on the stilt uh, homes. Uh, the homes are made of bamboo scaffolding mm. uh, and bamboo mats. The floor, the walls, the, uh, the roof, everything is made of bamboo. And they keep extending one after the other. Um, uh, the rooms keep getting added in the form of L or I. And uh, they have a very um, interesting way of getting onto their uh, homes by using a tea trunk. Now that we've finished with the Mishing village, we are moving towards um, the eastern range of Kaziranga and that is called Agoratali, where we will um, take our tenders and go to see the shoreline of the eastern range or Agoratali um, and there is always a chance that we would come across some wildlife. So we have in the past uh, seen quite a few animals on these waters. Sometimes you see a rhino, an elephant, you see buffaloes in the water, we, we, we've even seen a tiger. Uh, not just once, many, many times. So, but of course, the wildlife is a chance. How close was the tiger to? Oh, the first time when we saw the tiger, uh, we were actually in our tenders, moving right next to the shore. And the, this was about two o'clock in the afternoon. The tiger was in the grass, right at the edge of the bank and was sitting there and sleeping, dozing and the tiger looked at us and we looked at the tiger and both of us did not re you know, register each other and then suddenly we got so excited that we woke up the tiger and then the tiger snarled and really loud so that was our first visit the tiger then stood up, this majestic being and then walked away and then second time we saw the tiger was drinking water and um, third time again drinking water then uh, many other times uh, the, the tiger had actually come down to drink water we didn't see it drinking water that time but then uh, in 2018-19 we saw the golden tiger and we saw that six times in uh, one season and at the same spot every time so this was wonderful Tiger was a tame tiger then. <laughs> it's majestic, it's beautiful. And there is no other animal like our striped being. You know, it, it creates that little fear. You see all the animals, the birds start chirping when a tiger passes by, the monkeys are screaming. You know? So the tiger does cause, is, is the ruler of the forest. Lion is the king of the jungle or tiger is the king of it depends if there are lions in that forest. If there are no lions in that forest, then it's the tiger, the next. And then, uh, like if you go to the Jir forest or Gir forest, then it is the lion. Both belong to the same cat family. Yes. <laughs> Kaziranga, the whole of Kaziranga is a product of Brahmaputra. It gets formed by Kaziranga and the erosion that takes place on its banks or the degradation of the forest life that happens is also because of Brahma. Now, and it's so lush throughout the year because Brahmaputra waters it, irrigates the whole area. There are huge ponds inside Kaziranga which are called beans and these are the water holes for the animals. It's, it's a beautiful park where at one particular place you can th see 13 different species in Kaziram. Now when we do the boat safari, in one evening we'll be able to see, most of the time we are able to see uh, wildlife. And also it, it's very interesting, even on a day when you can't see any wildlife, it's just interesting to study the shoreline and understand how Brahmaputra carves it or takes it away. I, uh, when, when the ship was docking, I saw the soil erosion happening right in front of me. So I could calculate the normal soil erosion that happened during the time of floods. See, what you saw just now was just a little drip yeah. of the soil into the water. Yeah. Yes? It just sort of dribbled into the water. That's because 
the ship is huge and then as it moves it displaces a lot of water it hits the bank and then the soil gets displaced usually the soil gets displaced at the point where the water hits the sand and then naturally when it's displayed will uh, displaced below the top soil will fall but that is nothing when you see monsoons in this area it's it's the you have to reckon the force of nature brahmaputra rises now the island that we are at this the height of the um, about 10 feet high that it is from the water level it is 10 feet high because the water went to that height and perhaps more and then as it receded it actually um left the sand over there now so any height that you see around all around that you see that is the height that the brahmaputra in this area went up to see those uh, that uh, for uh, that tree line the bamboos are growing and then the water actually went up all the way